Hey there friends, Martin here and today I decided to show you another one of my favorite techniques to fake stuff in Blender, this time cloth simulation. Of course, every once in a while I make a full-blown cloth simulation for my shots. Uh, sometimes I choose Marvelous Designer for it, which you can learn in another tutorial I've made on this channel. And sometimes cloth simulation in Blender is just okay for it. But it takes time and time is always a scarce commodity, especially if you're making a short film on your own. That's why you often need to fake stuff. Fortunately, I found a very fast solution for some of the less complicated cloth simulations, like this sort of soft flapping, or for boat sails, even for flags. The way I figured this out is I was just playing with possible ways to make my cloth models more detailed. Uh, for that I employed this displace modifier, adding some texture into the socket here and playing around with the tiling. And that's when it hit me. Because here, as you can see, is an option to use an animated sequence. So does it mean the displacement animates as well? Well, yes it does. And now for the actual workflow, which I'll show on a simple plane. So let's subdivide our plane enough times and then let me plug this looping animation here in the displace modifier, texture, click this icon, which creates a new one for you. And in this texture menu, open up the browser. Little note here, to get such a noise, you now have several options. You can go to my Patreon, support my project there and download the several looping noise animations I use in my scenes and that I have made available for all my patrons. Or at the end of this video, I show how to do this in After Effects, if you have the tool. Finally, you can figure out how to do this looping animation in Blender and then let me know. But now let's set this up. If you select all the images, it will automatically set the parameters here for you. So we have 120 frames of this. You can set non-color data here since we have just black and white information. And if you hit cyclic, you can see it starts looping. You can also check this auto refresh to make Blender always refresh this animation on each frame. And then jump back in into the displace modifier. For this plane, you can leave these coordinates here, but for your more advanced objects, I always set this to UV. And then it's just about playing with the strength, increasing or decreasing the intensity, or the mid-level to set the lowest point of the displacement. Great thing you can use, for example, if some of your clothing is under an armor asset and it's visibly poking through, you can make a vertex group on it, Paint red only the areas you want to be dynamically displaced. I like to use gradient tool for this with either linear or radial setting. And then find the group here. And only the parts you've painted are now animating. By the way, you can also always go down here into mapping of the texture and make it tile on X or Y. You can also crop it here to stretch it if need be. And that's essentially it. I can't tell you how many hours this solution saved me on my projects. Not needing to simulate everything that needs some slight cloth movement. Now, how about actually making the noise sequence? In After Effects, making a seamlessly looping noise animation is very simple. You just make a new composition, make it a square resolution, like 512 will be quite enough, and something like 150 frames. Create a new layer, leave the settings and make it black. On it add a fractal noise effect. You can set up its look however you want. Let me in fact use this basic soft linear with contrast of 150. Then I change the scale to 360. All these things you can change and vary later. Uh, what's more important now is the animation. First keyframe this evolution option and make it go like 3 evolutions from start to finish. And we want it looping, so uh, the first frame and the last frame should be the same, which they're not currently. Well, watch this, when you now check this cycle evolution and choose number 3 here, uh, for 3 evolutions, like we keyframed, you get exactly what we wanted. You could use this, or if you want a more directionally blowing wind, you need to do one more step. Let's quickly scale the layer down and add a motion tile effect. Make this output with 
300 so that it is repeated and then mirror edges now if i scale it back and keyframe the position on the layer from one extended edge to the other you have a looping noise animation that seamlessly moves to the side and of course you can also blur this a little with a blur effect to blend this mirrored edges a little bit better and that's it my friends with this one can make unlimited variations of looping noises that can then drive your fake cloth simulations i hope you'll find it useful on your projects oh and by the way on my patreon you can find loads of stuff to download to watch even discount for my course like the master 3d environments in blender course which i constantly update with new stuff lately for example geometry note tutorials so check it out but that's it for now until next time martin out